Uncle Chris this morning, you absolute fool! What have you done? Oh, one city, one city boy in the team has cost us. Maybe it's harsh to blame on one player, frankly, but that's how I feel, man. I feel that Chris Morning has cost us the potential of getting a point out of that game. Hell, if you get three points out of that game, City were there for the taking, in my opinion. It was an open, even exchange. Look at the end of the game there. We've got ten men. City is sitting back. They're absolutely pulling their pants. Ugh. It's a really annoying performance because... You know, we actually played quite well, I think. I think considering we had 10 men, considering the makeshift defence we had when Rojo got injured and we had Chris Morland sent off and we were playing Luke Shaw, Valencia, McNair and Carrick at the back. What a great freaking defence that is for a most expensive squad in the league. Eh? Eh? Mental. But just highlights the inexperience we have at the back. Chris Morland coming in, who I don't think is United quality whatsoever. Making a rash challenge on Joe Hart, that's just needless. What are you doing that for, Chris? Oh, here's an idea. You've got a yellow card, mate. Why don't you just keep your freaking head on now, pal? You know, uh, only go in for a challenge when it's absolutely necessary. Stay on your feet, lad. But no, rash challenge brings down Aguero, gets himself sent off. Oh, leaves us totally open at the back. It's shocking, man. Really stupid, really inexperienced. I mean, this guy's been around the United first team for a few years now, but still, I mean, this is the this is the uh, the the, the behaviour of a complete amateur. I just don't understand it. I mean, we actually played quite well after that after that whole debacle. We actually played quite well. Okay, we let them in with a bit bit of dodgy defending where they scored Aguero with a nice finish, but other than that, we got at them, we penetrated them with ten men. They were scared of us, man, in that last twenty five minutes. They were. They were there for the taking, really. If we had eleven on the pitch, who knows what could have happened? You know, we 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 we, we oh, it's so frustrating because I just hate losing to City, man. Especially when we could have got got something more out of the game if it wasn't for just stupidity, man. Our defences. Oh, our defenders have let us down so much this year. It's quite frankly unbelievable. We've got dodgy, young, inexperienced defenders who don't seem to be growing, who don't seem to be prospering. Chris Morning, you've been around the United First Team for a few years now. You're having an absolute day, man, lad. Get Paddy McNair, who, in, who when he actually came on, looked pretty good. He looks like every time he played in the United shirt in the First Team, he plays well. Why is Morning even ahead of him? Oh, what did you make of the performance? Shocking. Fellaini did okay again, bringing every ball down. Fair play to you, Marouane. I thought you did well, apart from that absolute sitter that you missed. Oh, get a haircut, lad. Then maybe you'll... Oh. What did you make of the performance? Who were your standout performers? I'd have to say Luke Shaw had a good game. Fellaini had a good game. De Gea was some fantastic save. The referee's the man of the match, in my freaking opinion. Because without him, United could have conceded a potential few more penalties. Definitely, They at least had a couple of penalties that weren't given to them. So... You know, maybe 1-0 actually flatters Manchester United, because at the end of the day, the referees had a mare. On another day, they could have had two, three, even four penalties awarded. So, when I think about it, it wasn't actually that great of a performance. But really, you know, we, we probably matched them without Chris Morning getting set off. Who knows what could have happened. For now, this is Mr. Flying Pig HD here for the Full Time Devils YouTube channel. Please share these videos with your mates. Give this video a like and subscribe to the Full Time Devils if you're not subscribed. You can come and check out my YouTube channel at Mr. Flying Pig HD for a bit more analysis and ranting about this game. But for now, thanks very much for watching. You've had an absolute mare, Chris Smalling.